Hello and welcome to the next installment of the Quad Life. Today we're talking about breathing. Part of my injury is that I am unable to breathe on my own. And while I like the color blue, it's not real good for skin color. So, therefore, I get help with breathing. And when I was originally injured and um, I had the accident, then someone came up and helped me breathe until help arrived. And then I was placed on a ventilator. And a short time later, I got a trach. And then I used a regular ventilator. Mm. For many years, I went through grade school, mm. high school, college, and was able to mm. just live life. It went on the back of my wheelchair and had tubes and the whole bit and it worked very well but over the decades technology has changed and there's more options now and late 2010 i got something called a diaphragmatic pacing system and mm. that i have two wires in each side of my diaphragm and a fifth ground wire and they come out to a port on the right side of my chest that then plugs into a machine that goes behind me. So here under my right armrest, see the gray wire that goes behind me? That goes to the control unit. Now what that does is every four seconds I get an electrical pulse so that my diaphragm contracts and I breathe. So you see when I speak that my shoulders might move, well that's when I get a breath. Now with every type of technology there are benefits and drawbacks and with the vent it had problems that uh, had limited battery life and maybe the noise of it and with the diaphragm pacemaker, I don't have that. But the drawback with the DPS is my speech quality for number one. With the vent, I could talk non-stop. So that made some things easier for speaking. But with this, every four seconds, whether I want to or not, I have to stop, breathe out, and then take a breath. So there are good and bad points with both, but no matter what works for you, then that uh, is an option and you can go about life either way. Now also, part of all with this breathing system is that I originally had a trach and for 30 years I used that and did trach changes every other week. But in late 2015, I got this trach button that no longer has trach ties and just keeps things open if I need it. Or if I need my lungs cleared with like a suction machine or anything of that sort, it works well. So if you see videos of why I may be uh, pausing at strange points or whatever and moving my shoulders a little bit extra. That's why, but even with technology today, we are able to get around and breathe fine and still lead an active life. So that uh, is it for next week. If you have any questions or um, comments, please put them down below and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.